Well, if you guys are on my fan page, you would have recently found out that uh, I inherited a car. A car that I have never been a fan of. The maker of, anyways, I've never been a fan of the maker of this car. And I would probably never buy one, you know, if it were up to me. But it's it was an inheritance. I'm not interested in selling it, but I am interested in fuel mileage. So I had a big guessing game on my fan page, and I finally had to give the hint that it was fuel efficient, and then finally somebody got it. So, here it is. I got this 1998 Volkswagen Jetta TDI diesel. It was an inheritance from my uh, uncle, who passed away a few weeks ago. And uh, most of its life it's spent sitting in a barn. It's actually been sitting for the last five years before Saturday when, it, when I went and picked it up. I was going to do a cold start video, but it wouldn't have been very good. I literally connected the battery and it fired right up, just like it was never shut off. So it needs tires pretty badly, and the suspension's really no good anymore from sitting for so damn long. And overall, the body's in pretty good shape for Mark III, from what I've heard, because apparently these things rot out really bad. So, there's just some, that's just scout, like surface rust here, there's no hole, it's just kind of the rocker guard peeling off. And a little bit of rust here, surface again, which has made a stain. Same with on the rocker panel there, it made a stain. So the rust isn't as bad as it looks. So basically, those stains need to be cleaned up. CLR works great for that. And just a little bit of grinding and some smoothing. I'm gonna paint the entire car because it's scratched up pretty bad. My uncle had a lot of dogs and they'd always jump on the car. And there's a little bump in the bumper and that's what it's there for though. It has a nice hitch, never really used. And Two little rust spots there. And this side's pretty well the same as the other side, except for the front fender isn't in the greatest shape. It's got a couple dents and some surface rust. I looked on Rock Auto and I can get one for $30, so I'll just get a new one. The interior was super disgusting when I got it, but I cleaned it up all nice. Nice rubber Volkswagen floor mats. My uncle was a really heavy smoker, as I'm showing you with a cigarette in my hand, and there's burn holes in the seat. Just one hole, but a few spots where you can see hot ashes dropped. I'd cleaned the dash all nice. It looked gray. I found out it was black after I started cleaning it. It is five speed, yay. Heated seats air conditioning and it works, blows ice cold. Door lock in the dash and the rear power windows in the dash and then the two front power windows are on the door. Power mirror, tilt steering and yeah here's the back seat. I found a couple snow brushes and some new wiper blades in packages when I was cleaning the car out and vacuumed everything real nice and just made it a nice car again. Glove box. Got the original owner's manual and everything with it. So that's cool. And for the best part, you'll never guess the mileage. Only 47,502 kilometers. And it well, aside from the suspension from sitting for so long, it drives like it too. Just like new. It's super awesome on fuel. And the sound system's not bad either. Do, 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 do.
Not bad for a sound system. It's got speakers in each door. Speakers in the dash. Ugh. And, oh, headrests are in the way. The power locks in these are interesting. They actually run on vacuum, not electricity. Speakers in the back. With high range. Cool. I even cleaned the motor and everything. Just before this car was parked and it got that rust on it, it was actually T-boned on this side and it destroyed the engine and transmission. But it's got a brand new engine and a brand new engine or a brand new engine and a brand new transmission. Only 4,000 kilometers are on this motor and transmission. I guess it was hit so hard that it destroyed it, the old one. So, not bad. It's also even got this nifty sunroof power. Look at that. Oh, there's my kitchen. Cool. And then if you just want vent, right on. Cool. I'm not a real big fan of sunroofs though, so I just leave that closed. I use my air conditioning instead. <laughs>